Hi, I'm Bernard Klingenberg, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to construct graphs for describing the distribution of a quantitative variable using a web app called Explore Quantitative Data that is available on the Art of Stat website. Now, remember, a quantitative variable is one where the observations consist of numerical values that are, represent certain uh, magnitudes. This is in contrast to a categorical variable where the observations simply represent categories. Now, let's look at an example of a quantitative variable. And for that, I'm going to go to switch to the textbook. So hold on while I'm going to switch screens. In this example, this is example four in chapter two. Uh, I'm going to look at uh, sodium and sugar measurements taken on a couple of breakfast cereals. So you see the cereals listed here. I think there are 20 of them. Um, and for each one, we have the sodium value and the sugar value. Now, right now, you can just focus on the sodium value. And you want to describe the distribution of sodium in breakfast cereals using uh, those 20 cereals as our data set. Now, let's switch over to the Art of Stat website where I can find the Explore Quantitative Data app, which has actually this data preloaded. So let me switch out of the screen and go to the other one. I'm now at the artofstat.com website. I'm going to click on Web Apps. Now I'm going to just go to the second app here called Explore Quantitative Data. Click on that app. And what you will see in a second is uh, data from the textbook actually being preloaded, and in this particular the one on serial sodium content. And you can see the data right here. These are the data just entered. Um, there are some descriptive statistics, which you're going to talk about later. But here is one way, I'm going to uh, disable the other one. Here's one way of uh, constructing a graph or looking at a graph for describing um, quantitative data, and that's a histogram. You probably have seen that before. Now, all I did, or all the computer did to construct the histogram, it chopped up the range of the sodium values into certain bins and then just counted how many of the cereals fall into each bin. So the very, or there's a bin right here, for instance, which has two uh, cereals, cereals in it. This bin over here, which ranges from 200 to 220 milligrams of sodium, has five cereals in it. Now, it's always a good idea to change the bin width of the histogram because that might change how you view the distribution. And I have a slider here that can do that, so I can prescribe it and increase the bin width. Um, and so you get slightly different shapes. This is slightly different shapes of, of the distribution. Now, don't make it. Don't make the bin width too large because then you're uh, you're, you're too coarse. Uh, you're not really seeing much of the distribution. And don't use too many bins that make the bin width really small because then you're not really summarizing the data. Select something in, in between. Now, if you want, here in the app, you can actually also select uh, where you want the bins to start. Since you only have positive values, one possibility might be for the bins to start at the value of zero right here, and then maybe select a nice round bin width of 50. Uh, and that's actually the picture you see in the book uh, of a histogram of the serial sodium content. Now, if you want, you can uh, click on here to download uh, that histogram, and you can open it up and include it uh, in other documents. A couple of other charts. Oh, if you want to change color, that's nice here too. Uh, if you don't like the color that I've pre-selected, you can go here and maybe select some nice light blue, blue color. Uh, you get some nice blue histograms. Um, maybe very quickly, two other uh, displays that I'm going to talk about here. Uh, one is the stem and leaf plot. That's actually the one you saw in the book too. The stem and leaf plot is kind of a, a histogram, but done with text, with the actual numerical values. And it has the advantage of actually showing the values. Whereas in the histogram, you don't see the values that make up the bins. Here you see them, and this is sort of an upset or uh, a histogram flipped by 90 degrees. And again, here you can select uh, how coarse or how fine you want those categories to be. Uh, very quickly, what the stem leaf dis uh, display shows, let's, let's put on this one. So there's one cereal with serous sodium. There's one cereal with five milligrams. There's one with seven milligrams. There's a couple of cereals, one with 10, one with 13, one with 14, and then another one with 14. And the highest cereal has a sodium content of uh, 34. But uh, remember, uh, the decimal point is two digits to the right. So these are really hundreds. 
So when you said 34, yeah, this really means 340. So that's the same leaf plot. The last plot I want to show you that you can look with at, at this app is as a dot plot. Dot plot very similar to a, a um, bar chart. Sorry, not to a histogram. Uh, just makes spins again and then just uh, shows you where the dots fall. And again, you can if you want to change uh, the size of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the bins uh, or the size of the plots here. Um, often a dot plot is preferred if you have fewer data because you actually see the individual data and not just the bins here. So for instance, here it's not clear exactly where the observation of serial, or, or you don't see there's, there's one serial with zero. All you know is there's one serial that has a sodium count in between zero and 40 grams, where in here you actually see, oh, there's one serial that has uh, a sodium value of, four, of zero. All right, this is all I want to tell you about histograms. Uh, what are you going to look for in histograms is you describe its shape. This might be described as a fairly symmetric, maybe slightly left skewed uh, shape of the serial sodium content. Uh, and you can scroll through here of different examples. Uh, here's an example of the hours of watching TV. Uh, how, how many hours on average do you watch TV per day? Uh, and that clearly shows what we call a right skewed distribution. And there are other forms of distributions. I forgot, I was just picking out an example of loose unemployment rate. That's maybe hurricane damage. That's another really extremely right skewed distribution um, that, you can, that you can sort of see here. Uh, and there's a couple of other ones uh, that, that you can look at. Um, that was that. Um, if you want to enter your own data, you can simply click on your own data and then you can, whatever data you have, I'm just making up something on the fly, put your data here uh, and then uh, draw a histogram and so forth. Or if you want, you can, uh, and now the bin bit perfect here. I should, oh, I should maybe not select this one, I should have the default. Um, you can copy and paste on an Excel spreadsheet and paste your members in picture. So play around. You can actually enter also uh, a frequency table if you have one, uh, especially that's especially comfortable if you have uh, a discrete quantitative variable. Um, uh, so play around with the app uh, to explore histograms and, and get familiar with them. Thank you and uh, goodbye.